what does Islam allow you to do with matchmaking? How far can one go in that sort of situation? Well, I don't think matchmaking is only about giving references for people. Matchmaking is also an awareness of those in the community who may be single, those who may be divorced, those who may be widowed, from the male and the female side and are looking to get married. So the first step is building a database of people in the community and a database of confidentiality that whoever's going to run the matchmaking site or the matchmaking group in the mosque has to be someone who is known to be a person who can keep the people's secrets because this is the people's private lives. They've already probably been through an extremely sensitive time, either not getting married, which for some of them is so difficult to take, understandably, or a very difficult time, for example, after a divorce, or after the loss of a husband or a wife. So the first thing is to get this database of people who can trust you, you trust them, then to get three, four members of the community who you know very well can work alongside you because they are people of very renowned social circles. That's an area which is fundamental. That we have people in our communities who don't realize just how many friends they have. They may have so many friends out there and they may know that this person's looking for a wife, that person's looking for a husband, you know what, let's try and bring the two of them together. Now, how do you bring the two of them together? That's the third area. Maybe you, you pick the house of the one who has uh, collected this database in confidentiality. And maybe 5, 6, 10, 15 people come together. And if you, for example, click with someone, then you may mention, for example, that you, there may be number tags and things like this. And I know certain people laugh at these things and some people say, well, you know what, uh, I don't need to go through this process. You may be fortunate to be part of a community where you're surrounded by people who are lovers of Ahlul Bayt, let's say. There are certain people who belong to communities made up of 10, 15, 30, 40 people. The father, for example, had to move to get a job somewhere in the middle of nowhere. They bought a few Iraqis, a couple of Pakistani, a few Iranian, Lebanese, Afghani, reverts, this India. They brought them together. They made an Imam Barrio. They made a Husseiniya. They made a Jami of 40 people, 50 people. You're not going to find all of a sudden for your three daughters, three guys. If you're, if you're fortunate, alhamdulillah, but it's very rare. So you need this database. Now, whether it's online, whether it's face to face, it is an act of piety and it should be done. And I sincerely believe in these things such as the speed dating, you know, if a person is able to organize a program where people can come together, you talk to each other, you know, five minutes, ten minutes, is there a click, there isn't a click, you move on and so on. Why not introduce more and more people together, bring people from different cultures and different backgrounds.